Listen, Kisara. Hmm. Sorry, but you have to take the test. It's just to make things formal. It's how yes. it works. Yes. Hmm. And then, since that you agreed, do it for me, champion? <laughs> Come on. I'll do it for you. Uh, yeah. Sit down and enjoy. All right. All right. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> no, no, Monita, get down. Oh, come on, please. Do you think I'm too weak to bear this, huh? Are you sure? Of course, my dear. <laughs> okay. Now hold tight. <laughs> Secreto, mi alma enamorada, tu amor vagabundo no me da respiro, porque sé que nunca, nunca serás mío. Y no me importa nada, porque no quiero nada, y aprenderé cómo duele el alma con un adiós. Porque tengo el corazón valiente, voy a quererte, voy a quererte, porque tengo el corazón valiente. Amazing. So is that enough? It's amazing. Well, that's great. <sighs> Stay here while I finish the proceedings. Yeah. <laughs> well, didn't you realize it was really me? <laughs> My pretty baby. <laughs> it was me. I swear we're made for each other. Can't you see? When we're together, we can do many impossible things. We can climb up a hill and fly away like birds like in the movies. <laughs> I guess you're right, Alusha. Could it be that you're the man of my life? Oh, naturally. Alucho, will you leave my friend alone, you brute? Don't worry, Mercedes, because uh, it's okay, you know? Yeah, we were just having, you know, a decent conversation. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Yeah. You don't have to worry. Well, anyway, the police are here, and they want to talk to you, Falucho. Mm, uh, to me? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I'll be right back. <clears throat> but it went the other way. Come on, get out. Let's see. Hey, I okay. can't unlock the Do door. Do you have everything? Yeah, we Aren't have Aren't you forgetting everything. anything? Let's go, let's no. go. Let's okay, go let's in now. We'll here. Come on, let's Put go. Put sweater Hurry up. break time, okay? Well, no. are you wearing your undershirt? Yeah, she's wearing Well, don't everything. lose your blazer. I'll have to buy you another one every Come day. On. Let's go. No, do you have go everything on. in your backpack? Bye. Remember, I'll pick you up later, okay? I'm gonna pick you up later. Now. Come on! There are too many people. Let's just wait till they're alone. What's the matter with you? Are you scared, Uban? Or wouldn't you be too? <sighs> Three hours for some lousy proceedings. Thank God he's famous otherwise. Um. <sighs> okay, now how do I get this thing to work? Come on, let us see. <sighs> Hello? Who's this? Who wants to know? Oh, you must be kidding me. Give it to Martin. I can't. Listen to me, you thief. Get off your high horse, or I swear I'm gonna have to take really drastic measures. Oh yeah, sure, you're being arrogant because you're holding the kids hostage. I wanna talk to Martin. He's not here, Blondie. And why do you have his cell phone? 
Well, because Martin's doing an errand and he left his personal belongings in my care. Well, tell Martin that I already took the kids to their school. And when I pick them up, Koki's going to class to learn tap, and then I'll be taking the girl to the <sighs> dentist. Yeah, who's the girl? Um... Um, it's Laura. And will you please tell him to try to come home really early because we're having dinner together as one big family. Do you remember or do you have to write it down? Together as one big family. No, Blondie, I just can't forget anything that you say, okay? I'll see you. Just when I need it, it keeps me waiting, then I have to tolerate that monster. <sighs> oh, what the hell? <sighs> okay. I've made out in a taxi, so I must have learned something. Come on now, let's see how we do this. <laughs> All right then. First gear, okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Enrique! Oh, hey, what's up, Blondie? <laughs> <laughs> Are you deaf? I've been calling you for two no, hours. No, I was mute, but I recovered, thank God. I thought you told me that you were a fan of the contest. Uh, really? What contest? You see, Turka and I made it to the second round of the show on TV. But what show? The TV show. Well, haven't you read about it on the newspaper? Um, no, no, no. I don't read a paper. I don't have time for it because I'm now a full-pledged mother. That's me. Ah! What's the matter? Please don't tell me that I got you pregnant. You? But when Enrique, we really never did anything. Well, that's uh, true. Wait then, the father is, uh... uh and so, who's the father? Bonita! Stop it! You don't I know how to drive! Bonita! Stop now! Bonita! Stop the car now! I beg you, Bonita! Bonita, stop the car now! Please, stop the car now! I told you! Stop! Stop the car! I beg you! You have to stop! Please stop the car! Please! Stop! Bonita, please stop! Are you nuts? What's wrong Look, with you? you what do you think you're doing, Bonita? Leave, leave, leave you alone. You don't have to shout it's at me. It's you who has to stop doing all these crazy things. You can't drive because you don't have a driver's license. Come on, I was only trying. You don't even know how to drive. Well, because you don't teach me how oh, to drive. So it's my huh? fault now, no, huh? Come on, stop it's my fault. At me. Oh, the next time you leave your cell phone, I'm gonna throw it in a ditch. What? But why? Well, the monster just called. Call her. She thinks I'm trying to steal the father of her children. <sighs> No, it's okay. Well, Please, it don't wasn't worry. Really so bad. I'm Martin hey, I'm Anita Munoz. You come with me. <laughs> oh, well, it's a long story. <clears throat> no, I won't tell, but there's something I want to ask from you, Enrique. Yeah. So, well, I'm now begging you, and I hope you understand, to stop calling me. Oh, oh well, okay. No, come on, come back here. What? But, uh... Please don't call me and stop sending me those text messages or anything of that sort. That's it. We're officially over. Well, okay. I said come back here. Come on, don't tell me we're not gonna say goodbye to each other properly. Why don't we make this really memorable? Uh, um, no. You see, the thing is... I can't, Kike. No, well, no, no, I can't. I really can't, because I have to pick the kids well, up from school Well, but there's a lot of things that you can do in an hour, isn't it? Do you think so? Say an hour and a half. Well, then, let's see. An hour see. 15. An hour 15. An hour 15. Mm, yes. I think that's okay. Yes. Hour 15, okay. You think okay, so? an hour 15, that'll be oh, fine. Well, yeah. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. Come on. Um, um, are you ready? Okay, yes. come on, let's yes. go. Come Please on, yeah. Go. Okay, here we go. Okay. I promise you, we're gonna have a good time. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Okay. You can't get angry because. Is it gone? The stain's here? Yes, it came out. You are know you, you sure? can't get angry every time she calls me on it the wasn't cell phone. Just that, Martin. I'm just tired because it seems that every time we're together, somebody shows up and stands in our way. Always. It's as if they do it on purpose. I'm tired of suffering, Martin. I give up. What? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen, Monita. You can't just ask me not to see you anymore. You can't ask me not to love you more and more every day. Okay, come on. Hurry, hurry. Let me lock the door. Okay, come on. Oh, you're crazy. Okay, let me just do this. Okay, wait. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me let me take this off. Wait a minute. What? Well, since we're um saying goodbye now, I want this to be so special. You get it? Oh wait, why don't I try to wear one of Monica's really tight skirts? No. Come over here, you fool. No. Do you know what I really want? What is it? Huh? You really have a dirty mind, do you, Blondie? Ah. Hmm. 
Nevis, have you seen my sewing box somewhere here? Yeah, I lent it to Monita. It's there. Now, why do you lend things that don't belong to you? Hey, you just don't like anything I do, huh? It doesn't matter. You can go get it, and then when you go there and don't you talk trash about Kika, just grab it. That's it. Don't change the subject. Hello. Hmm, look what the cat just dragged in. Uh huh. Ah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. can we just talk for a little while? No. Ooh, I can't believe it. The brat just screwed up this time, Shut right? Shut up, Nieves. Well, did I tell you this thing would blow up right in your face someday? <laughs> You're very kind, you know that? You surprise me every day, madam. Thank you. Just one second, no. I really don't care about things, Bonita. I don't care who stands in our way. I don't care about it. And what I know is you and I love each other, and we just want the best. I just want to be with you. Yeah? What are we going to do? We'll be together. <laughs> All right? nada. <laughs> Y nada es suficiente, piensa que es demente, hacer caso a la gente y yo. Si tú no estás, ya no sé estar, perdóname si alguna vez te hice llorar ojos de cielo, perdóname. Oh, I can't even kiss you when I want to. Hello. You humiliated me in front of Constanza, you remember? Yeah, but... I'll never forgive no, you No, you don't for understand. That. I had no choice. What could I do? She was in front of me. I had no choice. She was upset. Do you know what you can do? I just want you to take care of your newfound little mommy and just do as she but says. Why? What? Just stop bothering me. No, 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 no. Please, um, how does this work? Can I believe you when you say that you're not seeing that guy? Hussain, why? You tell me. You already told me everything you had to say, okay? That's it. It's over. Um... I just want a minute of your time. Don't bother me, it's please. Just a second, Turka. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh, what is it? What is There's it? There's someone. There's Who someone. Oh, wait. Oh. It's oh. the boy. Oh, no. It's the boy. Oh, no, let's it's hide. It's the boy. No, hide. hide quickly. Oh, no, no, you hide. I'll stay here. Go on, hide. Oh, gosh. Turka, please listen. <laughs> Let me explain the reason why I did that. I told you I really had no choice because I... Monster! Why are you here? And you, why are you here? Huh? Now, Kimberly, how Devastated, is she? Devastated, Alfredo. She's completely distressed that she can't stop crying. Uh, for Hernando? No, for Falucho. So the thing is, you don't know Falucho, but he's a man with an inner world that you really don't know. That's why women fall in love with him like teenagers. This is what happened to Kimberly. Excuse me, ladies. Same thing hello? Happened. Alfredo. Hello, hello. What's going on? What? Why are the police downstairs? Uh, the police are looking for Falucho because oh. of a swindle. I told you that guy's a crook. So did I. But he ran away already. We can't find Falucho anywhere. He's oh. gone. Oh, so we came here for nothing. Listen, couldn't you just tell me this over oh, the well, cell phone? Well, please excuse me. Out, Alfredo, yes, next time things her. like this happen, no, no, you don't no, no, have no, to no, ask no, me no, to no, come no, here. Oh, oh Martin Casada? Yes, it's me. Hello. Hello. Ruben Fernandez. How are you? How can I help you, Mr. Fernandez? I'm the father of Jose, Laura, and Koki. I'm the father of those children. Would you come in, please? Please, come in. Take a seat, uh, thank Adam. Thank you. Uh, Fernandez. Thank you. Um, take a seat, sir. Would you please? Thanks a lot. Please allow me to introduce you to uh, Miss Esperanza Munoz. She's my oh, personal yeah. assistant and a friend of the family. Hello. Enchanted. Please take a seat. Yeah. Oh. Um, so what can I do for you people? I'm sure that you must be really surprised that, that me and my wife suddenly appeared in your office, right? You bet. You've been a complete no-show uh, for Esperanza, years. Esperanza, please, quiet. No, I understand. You know the lady's right. But I also want you to understand that my life hasn't been that easy. It was a living hell. Well, you see, I was in prison uh, for a long time. Then when I was released, I fell ill for a while, and I never had a chance to see my children. What are you doing here? You should be in school attending your classes. Oh, don't change the subject. What are you doing in my friend's room? Your accomplice's room, you mean to say. Why are you here, you monster? 
I was looking for this boy who's been playing hooky. Don't you know that I'm responsible for you? And I'm so disappointed in you. And listen to me. I talked to a lawyer. Do you know what's statutory rape? Uh, yeah. Great. That's perfect. Better stay away then. Or else I'm gonna have to report you to the judge for corrupting a minor. You can't report her to anyone because you have no right to do that. Of course I do. I'm your, at this time, legal guardian. So you better shut up and go back to your school now. Go Will back you to school. shut up? Don't do touch me. Get out? Shut up. Just <gasps> shut up. Oh my god. You're lucky I'm having a good day, because otherwise you'd find yourself locked in a women's prison. I want to kill her! I'm gonna kill her! My gosh, Blondie! I'll never really figure out just what's inside that dirty mind of yours. Ever since I've been with Alicia, things have gotten much better for me. Okay, I'm really happy to know that fact. Fernandez, I'm obliged to ask you what your intentions are for coming back here. You can't forbid him from seeing them. They're his children. Oh, thank God he remembered. Monita, Monita please. Well, but... <gasps> Listen, um, I'd be happy to let you see them, but I really can't make that decision about it because there's a judge who's in charge of the adoption. I understand. Yeah, I do. And if you really want, I'll talk to the judge about the situation and try to explain. Oh, that would be just great. Well, we can stay here for long. We have to go back to Santa Rosa. Well, in that case, you can leave me a number or an address where I can find yeah, you. Yeah. I'll talk oh. to the judge, yeah, yeah, yeah. tell her the whole situation, and as soon as I have news, I'll let you know. Well, that would be great. Well, thank That's you very perfect. much. Okay. Hmm. All right, <laughs> That's it. Well, <laughs> my pleasure. Go. We'll be back. Nice to no, meet you. No, it was you. my pleasure. Thanks for talking Thanks. to us. Madam? Well, thank you very much. Thank you. <sighs> Goodbye. Madam said, kindly walk the Fernandezes to the door. Mercedes to ask for their number. Come on, why are you still here? Oh, you really scared me. What do you mean, why am I here? And guess what now? A warrant has been issued for my arrest. I'm going through a really rough I path. I thought you were on your way to Puente Vallarta on a plane drinking martini. What happened, huh? No, no, Miguel. I'm actually living a nightmare. Interpol's all watching all the airports, all the bus and train terminals. The, the, this thing is becoming a nightmare for me, I tell you, my friend. Huh? I think that billboard is following us. <laughs> it got me worried. Huh? No, 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 please. Don't drive me crazy, okay? Now listen, my friend. Uh, how can I help you? Oh, I'm... Um, do you have 180 grand? Mm, no, not right now. Oh, what a pity. Why don't we ask Nielsen to no, follow them? No, no, no. I don't want to make things complicated. We'll have to let justice do the deciding for us. Justice? Huh? What justice, Martin? And what about the children? Why don't you ask them to decide what they want to do? Uh, no, no, no. We just can't decide, Martin, because the judge is watching us. Yeah, that's true, and she doesn't like no, you No, but at I all. won't talk to the judge. Constanza will. Listen, Martin. I have no idea who my real father is. And my mom abandoned me. I never had a chance to have someone love me as much as you love those children. And they adore you. Please, just give the children a chance to decide on this. Well, I'll be taking your advice into account. <sighs> Go now, Monita. If you need another piece of advice, you know where to find me. She has Yes, a of point. course, she's right. She was offended. Oh, Alfredo. What are you gonna do? Do you know what the problem is? It's like walking on quicksand. The more you try to walk, the more you sink. So what then? Well, I'm going home. Call me if you have news. Well, now listen, the only thing left for me to do is to vindicate my good name and my honor. No, but that's gonna take mm. you a long while and you can't afford to waste any yeah, more time. Right. Miguel, it's time you showed me that you're my friend and that I can count on you. Come yeah, on. okay, but tell me, why are you being followed? Well, it's a long story. Uh, let me see. You see this idiot, this moron, this dishonest person who is oh, my brother? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Hernando. He's disgusting. Well, yeah, yeah you know what, what he did? Oh, you cannot even imagine what he did. He yeah. told the police that I illegally kept all his share of the inheritance that we got from our father. What Can you believe the bastard? What a And that's brat, what he's huh? been spending till now. That's infamy. It's infamy, really, only up to a certain point. But he kept all my father's love. That's you see? infamy. Now, that has that's a price. Infamy, so? really? That is price. That's what really counts. Now, listen, has the same thing ever happened that's to right, you? That's right, because I know that. There's no way no, you see, we're all surrounded by ingratitude. Yeah, you're this right about that. This world we live in is getting 
wars every day. I Why do you, you think I told you? Okay, let's do that. Spaghetti. All right, I think now's the perfect time that we caught that scumbag Hernando and wiped that despicable man off the face of the earth. Let's Come on, go. let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. It's okay, Kimberly. It doesn't matter whether it's Falucho, Arnaldo... Hernando, Mona. Well, Hernando. Why was he named Hernando? <laughs> the important thing is he's the man who Yeah, but I've got to fetch him at the police station, Mona. I think I've got worse luck than Paraguay playing at the World Cup, girl. Welcome to the club with the helpless. <sighs> I don't know, Mona. We've got to call my friend the florist to cure us of this curse, because to tell you the truth, I'm already tired that of always having bad right? Oops. Speaking of witches... Say what? Who's a witch? Well, I'm kidding, Mercedes. What is it? The phone's been ringing and ringing, and you guys never answer the phone. Well, I was talking to Kimberly, the poor girl's suffering, you know. Oh, there you are, Mary Magdalene. He's not even worth a single tear. That Fallujah's a crook. Well, instead of crying over Fallujah, just make coffee. Oh, yeah, of course. And that guy, Rolando Martinez, is a real sweetheart, all right. I tell you, you can't back out now, Ruben. You just can't quit. He's going to inform the judge, Alicia. Because he wants to get rid of you. Listen now, if you put more pressure on him, the guy will give us the money. He will. He will. <sighs> Please listen, Alicia. Let's not do anything else now, because we've already hurt these kids a lot in the past, you know? Well, they don't look hurt at all. They're so rich. <laughs> yeah, now. But they suffered a lot when they were small, thanks to me. Because I didn't have the courage to take care of them. Uh, how long are you going to torture yourself with that line, Ruben? This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. And we just can't miss the chance this time. Sooner or later. Uh, listen to me. Sooner or later, Casado will give the money. Do as I say. Do as I say, huh? Come on. Oh, come on now. I didn't say anything about Rolando money and I'm not defending any men. Because I'm pretty sure that they're all birds of the same feather. These men are all the same. Martin? Uh... What? He's not that good. Don't tell me you fought again. Aw, you're such a nice couple. You belong together. Yeah, in a picture we are. Well, now keep your personal issues aside. You're to go to this address to pick up an envelope for Martin. Do you want me to clean your bathroom, too? Are you really offering to do that? Give me that. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Look at my purse. You see it? Look really oh, well, because you pretty. can't borrow it. <laughs> oh, her purses are so pretty. I want to take them all home. Oh, honey. Please make me a cup of coffee, Mercedes, because I'm really sad, girl. I'd love to make you some coffee, but you see, I just don't know how the hell this thing works. <sighs> Do I have to put coffee or the milk first? I don't care. Just put whatever you want. You know want. what? I'm going to make you a strong drink. There's a bottle of scotch here somewhere. Maybe that Ferretti took it. Oh, that jerk! Well, now why are you so no, upset? I just have a headache, Rosa. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry to add to your discomfort, but I have to tell you that Laura got a bad grade in math. We have to do something. What can I do? Should I hire a tutor just because she got a bad grade? Well, yes. Yes, that's what I you think. You really think she needs a tutor? Well, I, I really don't know. Okay. I'm not sure. Do you still remember you also had a hard time with math? Remember? No, why are you looking at me like that? I wasn't oh, bad in no, math. Oh, really? No. I remember you always failed. You always failed Can your we tests. forget about that and just tell the kids <laughs> I always got good grades, yes. you know, so yes. that, um... Mm. Oh, well, let's see. I really don't believe what you just told me about the headache. So what's wrong? Oh, God, Rosa. What? I met the children's father. Oh, that scumbag is here again? No, no, no. I don't. Their real dad came by. Oh. What does he want? I don't know. I really didn't mean to scare you. It's a lovely evening, right? Oh, no, you didn't scare me. No, it's okay. No, so it's no I didn't mean to scare you, Mrs. Turka. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, no. I want to ask you something now that we're both here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Do you have a, a boyfriend? A boy what? Uh, uh, do you have a boyfriend? A boyfriend? <laughs> a boyfriend? Why are you asking me that, Hernando? Because ah, I'd like to be your suitor if you'd allow me to. I'd like to see you, to go out with you on a date. You know, yes. that kind of thing. <laughs> Nothing's between Kimberly and me. There's nothing happening between me and that girl. If I had seen you before, then I wouldn't have wasted my time with wait, her. Wait, wait, wait. If you'd seen me before, what? What? Well, what? Tell me. Well, I can see that you have these really big breasts. Yes, I want big breasts in my women. And when it rains, I want the rain to fall on the roof and also on wait, the breasts. Wait, wait, Please hold on, Hernando. I'll tell you something. I know. Irresistible, but better resist my charm, or I'm gonna get violent, and I really don't want to. No, please listen. You're so irresistible. That's the word that I want to say. 
irresistible. Why do people mistreat me? This day is horrible. It's just horrible. I need to ask you a favor. Don't yes. say a word about this to the kids yet, okay? Yes. Not one word to the kids. Hello. 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 Excuse me. Well, now, Hello, Rosa. how is it that you both arrived home at this time together? Um, well, you know, we went to have a drink to talk about things, what we've been doing and how we've been doing at school, and we've been really doing bad, mm -hmm. bad mm. grades, absences. She's super, Martin. <laughs> what? I'm super? I wish you had super grades. Constanza. That would be great, but Constanza. no. No, we have to do something, because this boy is lost, yes, honey. Yes, there's something I want to talk to you about the kids. Well then, honey, maybe if we give him money, he disappear and he won't bother us anymore. This guy that we're talking about is a children's real father. He doesn't want money. He wants his children. His children? You mean our children. When did he ever take care of them? Come on, tell Constanza, me. In the meantime, I'd rather that the kids don't know about this issue, all right? They should never find out about it. What do you it. mean? No, honey, if they find out their father's here, we might risk losing them. That's going to have to be their decision, and certainly not ours. Well, I'll make the decision, because the judge left them in my care. And the only person who'll decide what to do with the kids is me. No, you really don't have the right to decide for them. What are you doing here, you moron? I came to bring this package. And I'm sorry to meddle, Martin, but... I think only the kids can decide whether they want to see their father or not. And not you. Nor you, neither the judge. And who the hell asked for your opinion? Has a point. Are you taking her side now? Connie. Hmm. Connie, what? Stop it, Martin. I'm sick and tired of you being with this whore. So you choose. Is it her or me? Listen, Miguel, I'm depending on you for this part of the plan because it's really the most important. I'll be the look Exactly. Right. I'm in your hands now, okay? All right. Don't worry. Just do what you have to do. <clears throat> the first part is about to begin. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, so what a surprise. So what are you doing here? Well, I came to see you. Is that wrong? No, I thought your cousin had sent you to collect the rent. Well, I came to do that too, but we can have some kind of arrangement for that if you like, huh? What arrangement do you have in mind? Well, let me see. The There's the uh, some you kind of... Your shot, okay? um, uh, huh? No, no, no. What, yeah. what is that? Your shot. Okay. What's happening? Swear, never Beats me. Uh, I have no this. idea. You, you live here. I don't know. Me. I don't know where those noises are coming from. Now, why don't we go to your room and talk? <laughs> Invite me for some coffee so we can get to know each other Sorry, better, but you know. I can't stand phony people like you. Mm. Ah, well, do you know who'll be glad to pay you the rent? The dancing little dwarf. Hey, what's the deal with the dwarves? Everybody likes mm. dancing dwarves. <laughs> come here, listen to me. <sighs> what is it? Well, I need you to come up here. Come with me. Mm. Let's go, come on. Stanza, <laughs> come on, don't say things like that. As a matter of fact, I'm not mixing anything up, Martin. And I was merely expressing my opinion. Nobody asked for your it's opinion. It's necessary that we listen to several opinions on this issue so we could come up with a final decision that would protect and benefit the children. Now, look, the only person who would really know how to deal with this kind of things is the judge. I'm going to call her right now and get her advice. And you, you're not needed here, so get out, get stop out. It. Connie, Connie, You can't Connie. stop me. Uh. Get out of here. <sighs> When will you finally gonna dump that selfish witch? Tell me. Juanita, why don't you go home and I'll see how I can solve this problem. Uh, hmm, I can see it perfectly. Yeah, I get what? it now. What was that? The monster made you choose and I guess that you no, already No, 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 listen. Well, Martin, you don't have to explain because it's not the first time that I'm dumb for the bitchiest and ugliest woman in the world. Is that clear? <sighs> Goodbye. Oh, come on. <sighs> Miguel, hold it well. Move it. All right, Move it's it all now. Clear. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, this guy's something else. This guy is heavy. Well, we have to shave his mustache and cut his hair. Let's not leave anything at random. Okay. This way will cost the confusion we need. Yeah, now where? Where are we going to send this special package? Well, we have to send this remains abroad. Then I'll come back, steal his identity, and withdraw the statement against me that he gave to the what, police. What a bastard this guy is, huh? Did you see that? Did I learn to dispose your garbage properly? You're supposed to put Let's go in here. Come on, let's, let's bring him in. Go hide somewhere there. Come on. You get it? Oh my goodness, I'm sick of telling you. Uh, Hernando. Kimberly. Is that you? But you look so different. You shaved your mustache and your hair. Okay, Eva. Yes, that would really be great. That is wonderful. Thank you, my dear. Okay. Would you like to have tea? Okay, bye-bye. So you're a friend of the judge now? 
Oh well, I'm sorry. Maybe it would be much better if I threw a dish with a food on her lap. No, to no, no, no. I really like didn't that. mean anything. I was just curious if you're really friends with a judge. Okay, okay. You know, I wish you won't criticize the That's way I, I treat this woman. I'm only doing this for the welfare of the children, not for Connie, anything Connie, else, because I adore them. They're the love of my life. Besides you, of course. I do understand. What did she say? Well, she said that as soon as you make contact with these people again, you have to send them over to her office to talk to her, and they'll never be allowed to see the children without the judge's consent. Why are you so surprised? Didn't you like it even a little bit? Oh. I know, I know, and I did all this because I'm heartbroken, because I'm so in love with you. I had my hair cut and I shaved my mustache, so I'll look like Falucho, my brother, because I know that you love him. <laughs> Don't you love me even a little? Come with me. I came I here know, for your mouth, so kiss me. Uh, mm -hmm. Mom, well, well, carry on with your kissing, because I have still a lot of things to do. Oh, you shaved your mustache. You look like Baluchio. Oh, now, Shorty, well, you really got these brother hooked. I guess you fantasize about this. Oh, give me a break. Hey, Nevis! What is it? Oh, excuse me, Nevis. Aren't you gonna even say hello to me before entering the bedroom? I already said hello to you. Are you crazy? Hey, this guy's crazy. No, I crazy. just like to look at women entering their bedrooms. Or yeah, when they then, come from the street. Are you sure you're not crazy? I think there's something oh, wrong no, with this no, guy. No, 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 I'm not crazy. I'm passionate. Oh, no, I tell you, I think he's what? worse than Kiki. He's well, gone I mean, nuts. No. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, what's wrong, Hernando? What? I don't think there's anything wrong at the moment. Yeah, nothing's wrong. It seems fine. Oh, well, no, honey, let's not fight. We're not fight. fighting. No, we're just not. Relax. I don't want you mad. We were Why just don't discussing. We, we really don't have to make up for anything. We're fine. And I appreciate what? everything that you've been doing for the children. All right. <laughs> well then, okay. Don't you want to spend the night here? Come on, I'll curl up beside you and then I'll lie on top of you. I won't touch you, promise. Connie. What, my love? I think I'd better sleep in the guest room, all right? Okay. Good night. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Where did you put my brother, Miguel? Well, I was almost caught by the mother of Ferretti. Forget the mother of Ferretti. Now, where did you put the body? I left it somewhere. I had no choice. It's somewhere? Well, yeah, I can't put it in my pocket. Are you crazy? It's a body. Even if it's the body of that despicable person, I consider it practically well, inhumane. Nobody would think he's your body. Brother. You don't leave bodies somewhere. That's crazy. Well, what could I do? I had to leave it. I was just doing my very best to avoid being dragged into a murder case, well, you know. Well, you know what we have to do right now? We have to recover that body no matter what. Well, good luck to you. What did you say? Oh, so you're leaving me alone now, and you say that you're my friend. That's good. Don't talk to me about morals, because I lost mine a few days after I was born, you know that? Let me remind you that you're as involved in this as I am. Didn't you see Turka while you were waiting at the tenement house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what? If this comes out, the police will be looking out for nobody else but you. And so what? Yeah, now what? Let's go. Let's go find oh, let's your go. brother. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, mother, are you making bread and meat for me? Uh, well, but did you promise you'd make spaghetti for today? How oh, Kike, to you, life only consists of spaghetti, bread and meat, and nothing else matters. Aren't you going to say hi to your mother? Aren't you going to give your mother Here a kiss? Mm -hmm. Stop it, Kike. Stop it. I'm not going to give you some smacks anymore. You're too old for smacks. Well, Stop but it. why Stop. are you cooking just now? It's late and it's terrible because I'm so hungry. You promised you'd make spaghetti, but now you're making bread and meat and it's so late. Well, what kind of meat is that? Is it rum? Well, it's snack. Not. Maybe you were lazing around all this time. Want me to tell you what I did after I lazed around? I Tell washed me. iron, uh -huh. I swept and washed the floor, and then I shoved. Do you want me to keep telling no, you? No, it's okay. I just have a lot of things running in my mind. I'm sorry. Listen, Mother, what are you doing here? Are you saving the most important for last? No. Ah, uh, no, you listen to me, Kike. Stop bothering me and let me finish making the bread and meat. I'm gonna fry them in a while. You go get some rest. Fine, I'll lie down for a long while, because my tired body really deserves it. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what is Falucho doing in here, Mom? <laughs> You're also cheating on me with Palucho. What's wrong with you? Tell me, Mom. Well, what is this guy doing here? Yeah, play dumb. You're cheating with this guy, and you won't admit it. No, you won't admit it. Oh, Kike. What? Kike, this guy is dead cold, and he's not breathing. That guy over there is dead. Well, he's dead because you had sex with him nonstop, Mom. Oh, Jesus, please help us. Who does that woman think she really is? Hmm. She just can't decide for the kids, you know. The kids have the right to know that their father showed up and they've got to decide whether they want to see him or not. Martin shouldn't listen to the monster. Martin's not a puppet, you know. Everything he does and everything that happens inside the house is his choice. Hmm. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that maybe you should lay off. 
You should let them solve their problems by themselves, you know? Just leave them alone. I guess you're right. Hmm. You're always right. I'll never go where I'm not wanted. Ah, you think you'll get rid of the love of your life so easy, huh? You're driving me crazy. You say one thing, then another thing. What's wrong with you? Do you know what I want? I want you to gather all your guts and run to the prince's house and kick the monster out of there. Well, that's, that's exactly not what, what you I said. want. I can't tell you brilliant things all the time. I want to see how you would react, I can't do silly. That, Why not? Because I can't. If something happens to those kids because of me, I won't forgive myself. You know what your problem is? You're a good person. Shut up. I don't know if I'm a good person. But compared to that horrible monster, I'm a nun. <laughs> you a nun? Come yeah. on. <laughs> Did you see the color of my skin? They're like a nun's breast. Oh, yeah? Oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray Mom, I'm going to tell you two things. This guy doesn't saying? have any dough on him, oh, and the other thing is, I'll bring you cigarettes every Sunday when you're in you're jail, okay? You're not going to bring me anything because I don't smoke, and I'm not going to go to jail because I really don't have anything to do that with that dead guy. That is what you're going to tell the police when they arrest you. I didn't uh -huh. do it, officer. Uh -huh. I didn't do it. Oh, you didn't do it. Why, this oh, poor no. guy over here oh. died of sex overdose, huh? Stop it, Kiki. You have to get rid of that body. I'll get rid of the body, but you'll have to promise me that you're uh, not going to hide any more men in the closet. Uh, 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 let's take him to the room of Hernando, okay? Okay, but we've got to check first if that guy's there. Okay. Oh. Okay, get in. Now push me up. Sure, okay, here we go. Push me up so I can reach your brother. Or rather, the ex-brother, that's it. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Okay, in. I'm taking my God, time. Look, come on, Kike, please do it. This is serious, my God. I hope nobody comes out and see us. Come on. Come on, Kike. No, listen, we're really lucky because nobody's here. Oh, thank God Hernando's not inside his room. We'll wrap him in a blanket, throw him in there, and we'll forget anything well, that happened. Well, he's going to be found by his brother, and he's going to spend some money to buy him a coffin and have hey, a good joke. funeral. Don't huh? joke about this. This is no. serious, Kike. Listen, I thought of something. What? Since you had a thing with Falucha, right? Okay. Uh, Hernando, he could then be my uncle. Let's go, okay. you moron. You don't know what you're saying. Well, Let's go now. Come on. They're brothers, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Good evening, citizens. Good evening. We're looking for Mr. Felix Perez Garmendia, known as Falucho. Does any one of you know this man's whereabouts? Uh, uh, hey, what is this? No, no, no. Don't no, 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 please. I beg you. She's the one who killed him. What, what the hell are you saying? Excuse me, officers, but I don't know what this man is saying. Yeah, he was hanging from the closet. Go inside and look. Social premises, come on. Oh, you're just going on here. I don't know. She oh. killed him, and she even had time to hang him in the closet. Oh, you're also oh, having a thing with Wait, wait, wait. There's no cadaver. But you old witch, how dare you? Hey, wait a minute. Oh, my God. How dare you? 99. This is 99. Send back up. Here at the tenement house. There's a riot going on. Send back up right now. Come on, Monita. Come on. He's coming. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Let's, let's go. go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Or we'll end up in jail. Come on. Hey, go, go, go. Thank God we were released from this glamour. We were both released pretty quickly, right? What do you think? You know, I have Monita. No, I, I know that car. Look, there he is. Hide, hide, hide. Hide, hide. Oh, hide. it was Casada, girl. We gotta thank him for letting it's us okay. out. It's okay. I'll thank him. I know exactly what he likes. But, Mona, are you gonna leave me standing here alone? Go to the office and entertain the snake. Oh, you're so bad, Mona. Go straight to the office, okay? Don't write obscene things. Hey, I know you. What are you doing here? You think you're a superhero? Dorka told me. I came huh. as fast as I could. I gave bail for you and Kimberly. But now, Kike and Nieves are in big trouble. I swear to you. They have nothing to do with the disappearance Monita, of Monita, you don't have to swear anything to me. I know that. But the body of Falucho, it still hasn't well, been found. I find it very odd. Isn't yes, it strange? Yes, it's also strange, yes. Well, thank you so much. I'll see you at the office. No, get in. We need to talk. In the car? Mm -hmm. Together? What if the monster sees us, and then she gets so jealous? I don't care. Let's go. Oh, since when didn't you care? <laughs> Why did we leave home in such a hurry? Are we running away from home again? No, Koki. The thing is, Martin couldn't take us to school, so we left. So we won't be late. <laughs> Martin. Martin went to take Monita out of the slammer. 
Just imagine if we stayed at home, the monster would have to take us to school. Mm. Is that what you want? No, but I want to go with Martin. Oh, you want to go to jail? <sighs> yes. Are you oh, going that just crazy, can't be. girl? Uh. <sighs> Father? Hi. What will we talk about? What's the big mystery? Why bring me to the office? Because I really need things to be as calm as possible right now. It's because of yesterday. When you told me to go home while you went to bed with you the see monster. What I mean? You see what? what I mean? See what? Monita, you have to stop. We have a very <sighs> delicate issue. The last thing I want right now is for Constanza to get mad at you. No, wait, wait. You know that if the monster gets mad with me, I can easily break her neck. <sighs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. That's right. Violence doesn't solve Especially anything. Especially at the stage. <sighs> I know what I'm asking for is hard. You're taking advantage of my kindness. Because she has everything in her favor. She lives in your house. She's with you. She's the mother no. of the children. No. She's not the mother of the kids. And she's not with me. You're mistaken. She's just the guardian. Nothing more. <sighs> Whatever you say. The truth is that we always end up separated. That's going to change very soon. I promise. Don't you try and say that. Don't say that. What you want to say is that maybe when we're both old, we'll end up in the same old people's home, and then we'll live happily ever after. Better late than never, Can right? Can you stop for a while? Can you picture me running with a walking stick and you catching me but not remembering why you were chasing me? Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be nice? <sighs> Monita. We have a difficult time ahead of us. I want you to never forget what I'm going to tell you right now. Wait for me. Please be patient. Will you promise?